Hi everyone. So today I'm going to be showing you my student class pet, which is a hermit crab. So we had two and one of them died. And then I replaced him with another one and literally it died. And so we're thinking that this guy right here is eating or killing, not eating, but killing. See, look, he's coming out, killing the other ones. So I got him, I'm just gonna let him hang out over here. I got a bigger tank. It's a glass one, it has a sliding top and I'm gonna transition everything into the other one. So I definitely got some, got some new sand. Cause that's the thing, like my students will have a job and it'll call, be called zoologist, which means they have to take care of the class pets for the week. And like they just, they do a great job sometimes and then sometimes they struggle. So sometimes the sand is like too wet and it will create mold. And I sometimes wonder, I forgot to bring home the tools. I sometimes wonder if that's the reason why the hermit crab keeps keeps getting sick. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna buy another hermit crab that's really big because the other ones have been smaller. So I'm thinking if they're also big, he won't be able to like, you know. I'm putting a lot of sand. Oh, I probably just did way too much. But apparently they do like to like bury themselves, so but he likes to hang out in this thing. And really they're supposed to like cuddle and keep each other nice and warm and he doesn't cuddle with the other ones. So I'm thinking that's part of it too. So we have two little of their bowls. I'm gonna rinse them off really quickly. All right, so this bowl is for their distilled water. This bowl is for their um salt water and you see like if you look inside like it's sort of gross like there's food shells he's not in here right now just so you know but like excess food like it's just not the not the vibe not the vibe okay and then so i got the sand and i also got this stuff it's called coconut fiber coconut fiber bedding don't really know like how I'm supposed to really do this, but I just don't want to have to keep going through these hermit crabs, like literally dying. So I'm just trying to get something new. Sort of grosses me out, like not gonna lie. Like I just don't know if I'm supposed to like break this bedding off. Oh gosh. Am I supposed to like shave it, you think? Or am I just supposed to put the whole thing in there? Directions, place bedding into a large container. Add four quarts per brick of water. Oh, it's supposed to go in water. <laughs> That's probably why I'm confused, okay. The hermit crabs really, really, really like humidity. I'm gonna have to wash this off, like, or clean that really carefully. So it's going to expand. Hey! That's why we should always read directions. This thing isn't even big enough. Okay, I have some water. It's going to soften up and expand. I'm probably gonna to have to find a better container for it. But anyway, that's that. And then I got a new bowl. So I'm thinking actually this one will be for food. This will be salt water. This will be distilled. 
distilled water. But honestly, the students, like, I mean, they do do a pretty great job of keeping them, like, nice and clean. It's just, it's just that these hermit crabs are a little temperamental, you know? They're just like, you know what, maybe I, maybe I don't like y'all's classroom. Aww. See, look. They make a lot of noises, too. So I'm going to put them in here. And they like to have their other shells, too, because the other... Bruce, stop. The other thing about our hermit crab was that we thought that he was outside of his of his little shell because he was going to transition into a new one. But, like, if they're outside of their shell for... I think it's... I think one of my students told me, like one to three days then it's sort of like it's just over for them which is sad and he was definitely out of his little shell for longer than that so we were like and i ended up telling them i was like oh like i touched him and he moved because he did and then literally like that afternoon after school i went to touch him and he just was dead so yeah, all that water made all of that stick. So it's definitely, I'm excited. I can show it to you. It's, oh gosh, it's hard to, oh, and I just spilled it. Okay, well, let me do it this way. It's going to expand. I'm hoping I know what I'm doing. Clearly I didn't. So yeah. This is what it looks like now. It's gonna be really hard to carry this to work. I'm definitely gonna to have to get Cortez to help me. But the nice thing is that it just slides on like that, which is nice. I'm gonna to have to spray Windex to get this little sticker off. And then I also got more um, salt water. And then we just sort of put it in this one their water also is like always gone, like by the next day. Which is really crazy to me. So yeah, I'm excited. The kids will be really excited. I'm gonna let him hang out in here by himself before I go and get a new one just so he can adjust so that it won't be like, okay, we have a new home and a new friend. So yeah, that is my update on our hermit crafts. Thanks for watching.